Jenna Griswold is Colorado's Secretary of State. She filed a brief asking the Supreme Court to conclude the state can lawfully bar Donald Trump from the Republican primary ballot. And she joins me now. Um, it's great to have you on the program. Obviously, uh, your, your office is intimately involved with this as you're the uh, administrator of Colorado elections. Why is it important? Why are you going to the Supreme Court in support of your state Supreme Court decision, even though that's not a, that's not the, the body that you serve on? You're independent of that. Why is it important to the voters that elected you and for this, the people you represent to have this power? Chris, good evening. Thanks for having me on. Uh, and it's important for the very simple reason that insurrectionists do not deserve to be in elected office. As the Secretary of State of Colorado, we have Colorado election law interest. Uh, we will be defending our law and going with the simple message tomorrow to the Supreme Court. States can rightfully disqualify oath-breaking insurrectionists like Donald Trump. Uh, and that is perfectly within the confines of the Constitution and federalism. I want to be clear here, because I think I spoke to you before this all played out, and we spoke about this. And obviously, it's on your radar screen because you're Secretary of State. But what's happened in Colorado, even the cases have been combined, Maine and Colorado, what's happened in Colorado is, is distinct than Maine. It's different than Maine. In Maine, the person that has your job made a sort of administrative determination that Donald Trump qualified. In your case in Colorado, there was a trial, a sort of civil trial, right? There was a lawsuit and there was a trial with facts entered and evidence. Are you, are you um, su sufficiently assured that there was enough process at that level for what is a monumental decision taken? Absolutely. The trial court held a five-day trial. Uh, Donald Trump was able to call every single one of his witnesses and actually did not use all of his time granted. Now, Trump himself refused to come and testify. He refused to take deposition. But they were able to uh, properly try to defend themselves from this lawsuit. The trial court determined that he engaged in insurrection. The Colorado Supreme Court then determined that Trump engaged in insurrection. Uh, and historically, civil suits, civil proceedings have been the proceedings under which Section 3 of the 14th Amendment uh, has been uh, adjudicated. So absolutely, I think there is enough due process. And Section 3 of the 14th Amendment is there to protect the nation from those who would swear to protect it, but then engage in insurrection and try to take office again. Insurrectionists are dangerous to our nation. And again, they do not deserve a seat in elected of office, let alone the presidency. You're, you're a politician. Obviously, you've been, you've been elected uh, and, and you're elected to office. You're a Democrat as well. Um, there's an argument that, that I've seen some people made that this would open up this kind of Pandora's box in a polarized nation. And, and you're familiar that there are secretaries of states uh, uh, of other states who are quite conservative, uh, who would start rooting about for reasons to say disqualify Joe Biden or a Democrat uh, from the ballot, that this would this would start a kind of really, really um, destructive arms race. As someone who, you know, you know who your fellow secretaries of state are across this country. What do you think of that argument? Well, I would say I have some good fellow secretaries of state and others that are more interested in political stunts. And honestly, there is nothing stopping them from looking at Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. But just like the Colorado case, uh, any case uh, against any candidate would be litigated. And a court ultimately would stop a rogue secretary of state from removing someone that is actually qualified. Uh, and, and let me make it very clear. The far right wants to say that Biden and Trump are the same thing. They are not. Biden did, did not incite a violent insurrection. Trump did. Feet from where we are, Trump incited a violent mob that led to the murder and death of police officers trying to steal the presidency from the American people. That was President Trump. Uh, so I am not concerned about that. I think elected officials and election officials need to be not focused on the politics. We need to be focused on the law and the Constitution. And in the case of uh, this, this big Colorado case, two courts have found Trump engaged in insurrection. 
I agree with them that the president should not be above the Constitution. And that means that Trump is disqualified. Now, of course, we'll see what the Supreme Court says, and I will follow whatever decision they render.